Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. In the last episode we got some stuff. In this episode we're continuing to get some stuff and also once you do this one time to summon her you will be able to summon her a lot faster by going 50 rupees at a time instead of 25 because every time it's 100 she gets summoned and then good things happen. We're gonna have 25 bombs and 70 arrows as a result of what I've just spent. 999 on... Wish I hadn't talked to that, uh... Thief that gave me money. Alright. Back into the time portal we go! Even though it's not time, it's an alternate universe and... Oh crap. Right. Also, I just remembered something. We want to go get something really quick. We're gonna need to go up river, though. Not this way. God, that'll take us to the uh, place we don't want to go. You can do this as early as you get to, um, the Dark World, by the way, from what I remember. Alright. Use that five. Almost there. <laughs> this boy, Lake of Ill Omen. Remember it said before that it was like a wi look, like a wish granting lake, and now it's just bad luck. Now that sign will say something about not disturbing this creature. Did you disturb my peaceful nap? I'll give this to you if you go away. This is a quake medallion. Its magic causes the ground to shake and defeats the nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. That's supposed to be the first medallion you get, by the way. And if I remember right, there's actually something in one of these. I could be wrong. Yep, I was wrong! Now we're going to use the bird. Because we're going to teleport all the way back down to number seven. You have to be in light world in order to do this as well. Just saying. In order to access the dungeon, you have to go in here. And turn on the water. Also get that anti fairy. Tricks for getting anti fairies include like uh Might as well save the fish since it's here. Crap. Let me save the fish. 
All right. Might as well save the fish since the fish is here. It fell into the whirlpool, so it didn't count. Oh well. Now, when you have the peg destroyer. You can teleport right here. Into the dark world. Hmm. This shouldn't be the case. Maybe I have to... T it, yeah, it's dependent on the portal thing, whether or not the worlds are attached. I guess that makes sense. I guess. Might as well get an antifairy again if I have the magic powder. Or power, not powder. I've been really lucky getting those, but do be warned that they are pretty tough to get. I've gotten so many game overs I can't even count. Alright. Clouded his eyes, Hazrala. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. In the form of the thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Again, we're not going through time here. We're going through, like, different universe-type deals. That's why I never got the link, like, in the past. I never got that. You get a key for doing that. Alright, we're gonna need bombs. I would suggest going before going further in the game to increase your uh, count of arrows and your bombs. Got the map. You can see it and not get lost. Just gonna show here. This is a small-ish dungeon, but they're gonna start getting ranked up in size very so shortly. Awesome. Man, these guys are annoying. Give me that. Ow. As you can see, this area bases itself a lot on swimming. Which is nice, I was glad they put that in a dungeon. Before we go into there, we're gonna turn the switch. That makes the water go. Make sure you've gotten stuff before you do that, because unless you reset the dungeon, that's permanent. Or I guess you could go out of the room and come back? I thought it was permanent unless you left the dungeon, but I guess not. things get a little intricate. As you can see, the the item for the area is right there. Also, I'm probably gonna die. Yep. Not surprised. There's a lot of enemies here, and it's hard to dodge them all. thing. Ow. Get 
Get a heart and immediately lose it. As you can see, you can't do anything here because there's really nothing you can do. Also, enemies will infinitely respawn in this area, so keep that in mind. Alright, that didn't work as expected. Alrighty then. So far, so good. Ow. Lock puzzles. This is an area, I, by, by the way, I game over a lot in this area, just from the mobs and the, um, the enemies and the, uh, environment. Case in point. The one thing about it, though, is with the magic mirror and the ease of this particular area, you can just leave and get, uh... Items relatively fast, like fairies. Rupee for our troubles. Uh huh, I see. I did this all wrong. So you're supposed to turn that onto red then. Thankfully, that didn't set me up for a fish in my face. Ugh, a cat keeps almost stepping on stop record. It's scary having a cat close to your keyboard. Alright, well I've only got one fairy left. What's the worst that could happen? I die twice? Yes, that it would be the worst that could happen. Ow. <laughs> 
The biggest key! It's the master key of the dungeon. It can open many small locks that most locks cannot. I read that in a very odd order. Boing! This is the hot hook shot. Extends and contracts and boing! It can grapple many things. This item is your friend and it is required for certain dungeons. However, you can actually get around them with certain uh, tricks involving the um, dash feature. Which I will be showing when we get to those dungeons, but for now, not gonna be doing that. Alright, what we want to do is go to where the big key, or the big chest is, and then go there. And then we get to this room of death. You can also kill these guys. While they are electrified somehow with a long metal tool they used to attack them, I don't understand how the electricity doesn't bur murder you, but yeah. that there. Mmm, good stuff. Gotta remember where that is. I think, however, that I might actually end the episode off here and then go and get some fairies and come back because we're getting into almost the end of the dungeon here and I don't want to get stuck fighting the boss with only one fairy. I'll see you guys then.